Ladies, gentlemen, and portals that are throwing us anywhere in time. Eek. That's a fitting reaction. Ouch. Hey, someone says it besides me. There's no way the Chancellor can reach us here. Yeah, that guy is like a servant in a civil court. I don't think he's willing to travel the space-time continuum. The, civili mm -hmm. the civilization here seems so advanced. Like we're in another world. Uh, can't go through this door yet. A strange crest is engraved here. It's sealed by some kind of power. The power of science. Should probably walk down here. That seems like the right thing to do. Ooh, the Trandome. I mean, androgynous maybe, but no need to hurl insults. Got any cash? You call this money? Oh, well, I have some good stuff. So assuming this guy's never seen what kind of money we've had before, he's just willing to take it? Says, yeah, that little bit of metal coins or whatever? Sure. Uh, let's see. Iron helm. Iron suit. Keep the power glove. You get the auto gun, iron helm, iron suit. Marley, you're still pretty useless, but at least you have good defense now. What does the ribbon do? Strike plus two. I have no idea what strike is. Is that accuracy? You don't really need that since you're bad. Um, just stick with the sight scope so we can see how much HP people have. You'll find some food at Aristome to the northeast, but only if you get past Lab 16. The beasts there don't react to weapons like guns and swords. That's basically the only thing we have, so oops. If you're looking for food, you lose. True Stone, never heard of it. This is Trandome. Kingdom, what are you talking about? This is an Enertron. You get a full night's sleep in a few seconds, but it leaves you hungry. I will rest in the Enertron. Enertron? HP MP restored. But you're still hungry. Hey, at least it's not false advertising. It's just a bad product. I can work with that. Let's go back into the blue. We're exploring what, if you haven't put it together yet, is the future. I mean, that's straight up the Empire State Building just sitting there. Lab 16. Well, there's some food on the other side. Hey, come here. Come here. Solitonic? Whoa! Oh yeah, you're supposed to avoid the rats. I'm sure this friendly plant will help us. Or not. To octopi. With 130 health. That's a good amount. Good thing my people are good at what they do. I hope. Mostly Chrono is good at what he does. Or Chrono? I don't know. It's one of the two. Does it really matter? Luca, that was impressive, especially for you. I assume the plant is going to be the deadliest thing, but the octopods attacked first, so we're really just fighting them on principle. There you go. Oh good, you healed yourself after no one attacked you. That's useful. 75. 70, yeah. You're... The plant wasn't very good. I expected better. Does Marley learn any new tech soon? Let me check. Aura. Oh, good, she can heal us. That's going to be important. Hypnowave will learn in the next fight, and Slash, maybe. Everyone's about to get a new tech. Probably after fighting these guys. Hey, how you doing, folks? Hello, little craters. I was going to call you that before I knew that was your name. Oh, you're healing everyone. I can't say I'm a fan. If they just move a little bit more... Looks like they're... Oh, they are moving. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, it's pointless to heal them before my attacks. Especially before my special attacks. They don't react well to guns and swords, but they do react pretty well to fire and swords. It's really a balancing act. You just have to find the good middle ground. And then kill the meat eater. That's a plant. Are plants actually... Or not plants. Are Venus flytraps technically carnivores? Because I have no idea how that works. Hey, new jewel tech. Like, I've never really looked into that or read up on it. Treasure chest. Hey, I was told there was a treasure chest here. That's the little box with the arrow on it. Hidden really well. 
Um, but how do Venus flytraps work? Like, I know the flies land on their mouth and it has to trigger with, like, enough force for the trap to close. But plants don't really have sentience. They don't know what's happening. So is it just, like, an auto-reaction? I probably should look into that some more because it's interesting for sure that these plants are eating living things but I just don't know very much about that. How did I get on the topic of Venus flytrap? Oh, the meat eater plant. And I was like, uh, do plants really eat meat? Some do, technically. Isn't it a miracle of nature? Wow, Marley, you're useless. Is there a weapon I forgot to get for her somewhere? One sitting in a closet or something? Cause I wish. One load sword. I have one of those. Ooh, next move you get is Provoke. Doesn't sound too useful. And no one's hurt, so I don't need to heal, so we will just continue. Ah, you got another tonic. Don't steal from me. You got me. But I got a load bow. Good. Marley, you go from 8 attack to 19. Good. You needed that. Hello, plants. How you doing, kids? Ooh, your octopus children look lovely. How old are they? Let's see, Marley was going from hitting... What, like 18, 22? I just want to see what she gets now. Please be better. 53. Still not good, but I can work with it. Use Hypnowave, just because I, I want to see what that does. I don't remember ever using that move. Did that work? I don't see the plants moving, so maybe they're asleep. Cool, they can't heal themselves, even though them healing themselves was pretty useless. Or not, since it just negated all the damage Luca did. What's the other combo they just learned? Aura Whirl. Restore allies HP. All of us. I don't really need that. Back to beating up plants. This is a very interesting lab, now that I think about it. It's not a lab so much as a dead city street. There were definitely some stoplights I saw. Ooh, lots of people. Fire whirl. All four of those guys. Marley, you can just shoot the other one. Oh, come on. The boundary of that sword definitely hit the other guy. Who cares? Hey, one survived? What, does it have like one health left? It does have one health left. Well, I'm impressed. And you're dead, so I'll feel impressed for you while I lower you into your grave. Oh, some levels up. Always important. What's out here? Haha! -ha! Escape. Just kidding. Oh, these things. These puddles of white gook. I think these are the ones, yep, that you have to use uh, fire or tex on. I don't think any tech but the fire ones work, actually. See if Marley does anything. Nope. I don't know if it's totally immune or if it's just really evasive to it. But either way, the lame toss. Are we not going to talk about how Luca, presumed to be like a teenager, carries a straight up Mega Man blaster on her arm that shoots fire? She is a magical thing that can put enemies to sleep whenever she feels like. Hey, you. Oh, I regret speaking to you. Is this what the future is really like? I hope not. 300? That's a lot of health. Good thing it's three against one. Even if the two were not the greatest. Actually, Marley, that was a respectable critical hit. Maybe if you only get critical hits, I'll respect you more. Oh, that's cheap. It healed itself. Get your own life force. Marley, heal yourself in battle, because this thing is only targeting you. And I want to see what that move looks like. Okay. Not the greatest. But it's something. Ooh, and, and on a critical hit. Chrono's just a boss. He does what he wants. I expected better rewards. Guess not. If I walk this way, can I avoid you? Nope. 
But yeah, that's definitely like a stoplight. Got a fire hydrant right there. This is the desolate of desolate futures. I don't know what all the debris is other than just debris. I don't think it's meant to be anything specific. Good. That was the worst laboratory I've ever been to. Who's in here? Ooh, Aristone, where they have food. Hey, I've just gone 23,000 years into the future. I'd like a peanut butter and jelly. Hey, people. I should talk to them. Hey, how are you doing, small little girl? Who are you? Okay. You there. Where are you from? We came from the laboratories to the west. What? Hey, we got people who crossed the ruins. Say again? You're joking. So there are people who can beat up those freaky mutants. Yeah? Daddy's gonna bring us some food. My husband went down to the food storage area below. I haven't seen him since. Ooh, he's very dead. There's an old factory site called Protodome to the east. Can't get near it because there's a bunch of lunatic robots in the area. Pardon me, I'm Tone. I'm the descendant of the director of this info center. In the basement, there's a huge computer and storage center for food. But we can't get through because of the robot guards. It's a pity. That is a pity. Did you really come from the dome to the west? I see. Not that I really care. I just like to be up on things, keep up with the gossip. You can reach the continent to the south through the sewer access, but stay off of Death Peak. Okay, the quote is on Death Peak to begin with, but it's not there to end it. That's going to drive me insane. There's an old man living in a dome near Death Peak. Talk about crackpots. Yes, let's talk about crackpots. Aren't they wacky? Yay, HPMP restored. But I'm still hungry. The door with the crest? Dynamite won't budge it. We tried asking nicely, but that seemed like too much. Hello, little girl behind boxes. Have any money? You sure this is money? Oh, well, I have to light up my inventory anyway. And what is this? Nothing I ain't got already. Except some tonics that were definitely stolen. Actually, I'll take some tonics. There. Buy yourself some new clothes. So I suppose the only solution is to go down into the basement. Are you going down below? That's what I just said, my dude. Of course. But no one's ever returned from there. Gotta try, right? Uh, it's nice to see such spirited young people for a change. Careful now and come back alive. Don't you tell me how to live my life. Into the basement we go. Ooh, it's spooky. Let's see. This is flashing, which means it's important. This console controls the passageway. We need a password to get through. Um, yes, I know that. I don't know the password, though. This console controls the passageway. Say it again. Say it again, Luca. Just in case. Ooh, the rafters. Nothing like running through these as a child. Ooh, down to the right. Nope. I thought I remembered well enough. Maybe it's up to the... Is this a rat? It looks like a statue. A memo is attached to it. Warning, anyone within the vicinity of the stockroom will be attacked. Oh, uh, you know how those crazy memoers are. Always leaving silly cryptic notes. Probably means nothing. Hey, this looks normal. Let's just walk on through. Oops. Uh, executing program. Chrono, what's going on? Marley, let's go. No choice but to beat up the giant computer. Guardians and bits. Uh, use slash. Because I want to see what it does. Yeah, logic would dictate I'd flame toss and destroy the bits first, because they're the little guys. Not the giant murderous robot. We take care of the giant murderous robot in a moment. Ooh, lasers. Hey, weaponized lasers aren't a thing yet. This isn't G.I. Joe. Or is it? I guess anything could happen in this crazy future. A uh, fire whirl on the bit. 
See if that does substantial damage. Why is the sight scope not doing anything? I can't see their health. Is that because it's a boss fight? Nice. Good. One of them are down. And the CPU actually went well and targeted the other guy. Amplifier. Oh, I get it. It's a pun. Like fire. Like amplify. Like we're going to die here trapped in a storage room fighting a giant robot. That's... That's how the story goes. Krana, why is everyone only attacking you? No worries, bits are gone. We can solely shoot this thing. Watch how fast this thing goes down. Yeah, it goes by even faster when you fast forward it, doesn't it? Well, we took care of that, even after the bits showed back up and killed Chrono like eight times. But that's okay. 300 experience, five tech point, thousand dollars. Everyone always levels up after the important fights. I'd rather that happened before. Phew, something reeks. This is not good food, is it? Everything's completely rotten. The refrigeration must have failed. Chrono, look! Passed away long ago, I suppose. He's hauling something. What do you suppose this is? It looks like some kind of seed. Oh good, thank you for keeping that warm in your decomposing flesh. A seed? Do you suppose it could grow in a place like this? Who cares, I found... That's it, a mid-ether. The following is written on a soil sheet of paper. The rat is more than just a statue. It knows the secret of this dome. Catch it. I told you that, rat. There was something up with it. I recognized it as soon as I saw it. There, there it is. Shh, it might run away. Dash with the B button, catch him with the A button. Hey, you! Get back here, you dirty rat. Whoop. I don't know that I run faster than it. Especially when I do things like pause on corners. I'm probably gonna have to try this again. Unless I get you on this side. Just kidding, there is no this side. Hello, rat. Almost. I'm very close. I'm slamming on the A button. Got it. Squeak! I give up. I'll tell you everything, squeak. Press and hold the L and R buttons, and then press A to access the secret passage. Squeak! Don't make any mistakes, you'll, you'll, you'll be sorry. Did a rat just threaten me? Man, you are a rat living in the rafters. What do you eat? Okay, L, R, A. This episode's going on pretty long. I hope this is quick. Oh, this doesn't look quick. But I'll investigate this in the next episode. Later!